Now watch, arm is stiff in the air, stays right there. That is a suggestion that has been given that produces movement from Samuelism to capilepsy. It's, it's what they call waxy flexibility. It's a state that you, if you ever go to institutions, you'll find it one of the phenomena among the insane. You see, hypnotic phenomena is closely related to the phenomena of insanity. But there's a big difference. You are in control of the insanity. The dangerous insanity is when you lost control of it. But the state itself, basically, as a mental experience, is very similar to the one experienced with the so-called insane. The only difference is that one persists, persists, and persists, while the other can be turned on and off at command. But some of the most remarkable achievements have been made through the insanity aspect of the mind. If it's too sane, it doesn't become original. And so, remember, you have an opportunity here as you advance your skills to go into the field of learning and helping advance learning as part of your profession. In a moment, you're going to come back wide awake. You'll feel perfectly normal and fine. But you'll find you can't move that hand, try as hard as you will, even when you're wide awake, until I put it down for you, and then it'll all go away completely. Now you're testing where your client is, aren't you? All right? At the count of five, you'll come back. You'll find you're perfectly awake, but your arm won't move. It just stays where it is. It no longer belongs to you. It's temporarily separated from your nervous system. Now, you don't know what in the world you're even talking about, do you? <laughs> no, you don't. What you're saying is almost, the, um, almost a whole biological experience that goes through all kinds of aspects and all these interconnections of the mind. But you don't have to know. All you have to do is give the command or the suggestion. Let the unconscious decide for itself. The more you recognize that it can be the one that can guide the whole experience, the better hypnotherapist you will be. At the count of five, you'll be wide awake, you'll feel fine, but you, can, you can't move your hand, try as hard as you will. One, two, three, four, five, and the young lady wakes up. I'm not even watching her. How do I know she will come? Well, I guess assume that she will. And she did. But if I had turned my head, I would know sooner, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I should turn my head. <laughs> What's the matter? What's the idea? <laughs> what are you doing this for? <laughs> I'm a bit stranded. <laughs> What's it feel like? Stuck. <laughs> well, what's interesting, this is the state of hypnosis in which you can produce the removal of pain. It's the, to an advanced degree, even surgery, where you can take a needle and you pinch your skin, you feel nothing. It just feels numb. See what I mean? Instead of being alive, is temporarily dissociated from your nervous system. And what does that mean? It means you're temporarily separated from your nervous system. But what does that mean? You haven't got the slightest idea. <laughs> <laughs> now what you're gonna do, go around all day like that? <laughs> This is ridiculous. You'll have to come with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd be very pleased to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but now well, I, well, I want to know, uh, why can't you control that arm? Now listen very carefully. 
I'm going to tell you what went on. You went down to a condition of hypnosis, didn't you? Yes. While you were in the condition of hypnosis, I gave you a suggestion that your arm would be rigid and would be immovable when you came back. Now, knowing the basic cause, can you release your arm? No. You see how powerful these impulses are in the mind? And this is just experimental. You're dealing with people that have conditioned ideas in their mind and even in their bodies. Some of them are going around paralyzed because of mental paralysis. This is, just suppose that this young lady was to continue this thing and let it go on and on and on. Eventually the muscles would sort of atrophy and the arm wouldn't move anymore and she would be a cripple. Of course, we know she's not a cripple. We know this is merely a suggestion that I've given you. Now, you don't mind being a horrible example. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Who minds being a horrible example? Because a horrible example is an example that is horrible. And this is horrible. Isn't this awful? Here, this cruel man <laughs> made your arm and you know how, the dark side. <laughs> now watch, I'll release it for you. But the funny part is, often you will find if you find the basic cause and give it to your client, that itself will cause the release of the inner trauma that exists and so forth. On the other hand, sometimes it's so powerfully set in the nervous system that even the, the revealing of the cause is not enough. You need the exotherapy. And so the exotherapy is this. As I touch your hand, it comes back to normal and it lasts it completely and you can move it perfectly. Try it now. You're back to normal. Isn't that interesting? So all this is for, not to demonstrate a demonstration with one person, but merely to show you what you're going to deal with in your clients. Because you're going to find some of these things are very powerfully ingrained in the nervous system, and they tend to stick there. On the other hand, if you go back in regression and find the basic cause, Usually, you can remove the situation.